What's up guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Bbot plugin to take all the OTC market from any binary option brokers like Pocket Options, Cortex, IQ Option from any binary option brokers into your MetaTrader 5 or MetaTrader 4 and together with the Autobot trading signal so you can automate your trade even on the weekend. And also I am going to show you how I find a free indicator from MetaTrader 5 and automate them and generate my income about $200 after just two hours of automation with the Autobot trading signal. So without further ado, let's dive in and I'll show you how I did it from the start. So to get started, let's go to the Autobot Signal website by typing autobotsignal.io, then go to a blog. On the blog, you can learn about the topic about the ODC that we just posted. Click on it to uh, read more about the information uh, about the plugin and how to use the plugin. I also input the uh, YouTube videos for you to click and learn more as well. So to get started, Let's download the OTC plugin. You know, uh, just uh, download the Bbot plugin for MirrorTrader 5. So once the downloads uh, finish, let's go to uh, the download folders and copy the MirrorTrader 5 uh, plugin. You know, from Bbot, just copy, and as if copy it, then open your MirrorTrader 5 platform. So the one that I use is from Forex.com. Just click to open when the platform is launched. Now let's uh, copy the script and paste it into the uh, expert folders. So, you know, go to file, click on open folder options, go to the MQL5 and go to expert. And now where you paste your EA Bbot plugin. So just right click and click paste so here i already have it so now i just repaste it again to uh, uh replace so when it is done just close back to your expert just refresh it by right click and refresh so then you can see your ea bbot plugin right there so to run the bbot plugin so that you can get the uh, quote of the OTC markets just right click and execute go to input then here you don't have to do anything the one that you needed to do is to select which broker that you are going to use so here I am going to uh, get the OTC quote from Quotex so I will select the Quotex brokers and then click OK so when it is uh, click OK you can see that this will go black and it would just say open chart so one you click on open you can see that the list of the OTC market will show on the left of uh, the platform so here is uh, here are your uh, OTC market so to add this OTC chart just right click and click add to the chart so right now we can compare you know both platform between our Cortex chart and also with the MT5 are correct so it's time for us to add our indicator I already saved it as a template let's go to the Autobot binary template that I saved the indicator let's go to the list here you can see this is the king binary sure shot it's totally free you can go to the market of the MT5 and search for king binary sure shot and here you can see it's totally free you can install it into your chart and the same time you can uh, use it with the autobot so that is going to automate the trade for you just click on the free and uh, download into your uh, mt5 so once you already install the indicator into your otc chart so now it's time to automate them now let's go back to the autobot trading signal website go to features and scroll down to the Meta Trader Connect. Just click on it to download the Auto Signal Connector for your Meta Trader 5. Just click and download. So when it is download, just unzip that folders. So when it is unzip, just copy your Auto Signal Connector. When it is copy, then go back to your Meta Trader 5 
go to the file, click on the open folders, MQL5, go to scripts, and now where you can paste your auto signal connector there. So when it is paste, just close it. Now let's go to tools, then click on option to enable the uh, allowing algorithm trading, allowing DLL import, and also you needed to allow the web request for the listed URL so you can find our Autobot URL web request down below. Just copy and you need it to uh, paste it right there. So this is our URL. So without it, you will not be able to connect. So you need it to paste and allow the web URL request right there. So when it is allow, let's uh, have a look at the script. So uh, you can add it to the chart. So when it is added to the chart, just uh, put it to the size and then we can go to input. So for the input, we needed to compare, you know, between uh, the alert that we use and also the script that connects. So it needs to translate the alert so that the Autobot can understand what the alert is saying and what the script is saying so that the Autobot uh, can understand, you know, what the alert message is saying for each indicator. So here we can say for the call, for example, in the alert here, it's a sell. So for my guess, it's going to be a buy signals. And for the sell here, it is a put signal. So for the put symbol here, we're going to say sell. So the Autobot needed to read this alert, so you needed to input, you know, what it meant for the call and what it meant for the put. If the alert here say buys or say sell, so you needed to use that exact call, you know, to uh, set it into the Autobot so that it can translate uh, correctly and can send the message to automate. For the filter symbol, it is the name of your indicator. So what is the alert say? And then we can have a look at it's the indicator and then it's mentioned about the king binary so the name you just pick one word here it say king it begin with the king so we're going to just use the word king here for the filter symbol so that it can read you know this is the alert and this is the name of that uh, indicator and we use the word just one word here it will be okay so here is the poll check uh, signal sleep and we just leave it by default we don't have to change it and the one you needed to set is the signal key signal key is the signal that you needed to uh, send that signal into the Autobot so that the Autobot can get the signal and can read all the message so here I am going to use it with my Cortex so I'm gonna start with the word Q right here so actually it's any, you know, any, any symbol, any text, any letter is fine. So I start with the Q OTC. This is my signal key. So remember that signal key, we are going to use that to input into our Autobot signal key slot. So here it is the filter delete symbol. Filter delete symbol is mean that it is the symbol that the Autobot cannot read so for example when the alert saying something that the tag is too long or maybe the list of the name is not matching to the brokers so that the autobot uh, get that and then send it to the broker and the broker cannot read it because the name is too long or maybe they exaggerate for example for this case our alert saying the euro dollars dash otc and then connect with the word QTX. So QTX, it is something that it's not the actual symbol. It is something, you know, from the indicator. So the broker cannot read the text called QTX. So we needed to remove that out from the symbol. So here at our filter delete symbol, you can just input that to remove so that the Autobot can send that symbol to the broker and the broker able to recognize that symbol. So we're going to remove that out by using the QTX exactly as the alert saying here. We need to remove that because the broker cannot read that one. So and below that we call add symbol name, add symbol name. Uh, in the in some case, you know, when the alert happen, then it's not connect with the word OTC 
or something that it is missing so you can add the symbol so that the brokers will be able to recognize and read that symbol so in this case because i am using uh, metatrader 5 we only need to use is the lead symbol because here with the bbot plugin they always give this extra tax extra layer so that's why we need to remove that but if you are using bbot on your mt4 uh, mt4 they are going to remove the otc so it's always alert with the euro us dollar but they just miss out the otc so the autobot connector needed to uh, add it back to we call that add symbol if you see that the alert bring out just the symbol but without the OTC, so you needed to add symbol name right here by putting dash and then OTC so that you know, the Autobot can get the full message of the symbol and then can send it to the broker so the broker can read it. So after everything is done, now you can click on OK. So once you click on OK, you can see that the folder is pop up. So this lock folder can't be closed. It is the script that run by the Autobot. We needed to run the script so that we can read the text message of the alert. So this can be closed, but uh, to avoid it, you can just minimize it to a smaller folder and put it into a size so that you can do something else. So right now I just uh, make it smaller, remove it to the side. And now it's time to run the Autobot. Let's go to uh, start, uh, open our Autobot, click on yes. I am going to select the Cortex Brokers and I click uh, login. So login will begin. It's going to pop up the Chrome login. So don't be worried because this is the process uh, required to be able to log in and connect to your broker. So when it is logged in, this log locking in will be disappear and allow you to input the signal key remember the signal key that we use oh uh, you see this error right here uh, dialog with the login has no attribute or local time so I think there's some issues here so let me close it and uh, retry to uh, lock in again okay so let's go to the start Autobot signals click on yes then I go to Cortex, click on login. So wait for the process to be done. Okay. So when it is uh, successfully logged in, you can see this is the slide that uh, allow you to input your signal key. So remember the signal key that we created on our auto signal connector on your MetaTrader 5. So we are going to use exactly the same uh, signal key from the MT4 or MT5 that you are using. Otherwise, it will not be able to receive the alert. So uh, the signal key that I use on my MT5 is the QOTC. Remember that one, all in capital. So QOTC, click on save. So here's I already save it. You can see that this is the QOTC uh, signal key. So I'm going to trade uh, with the amount of $10 and then switch it to live account. So this is the current balance that I have right now. We can go back and check our Cortex. Let's uh, move it to live account. So as you can see that the balance exactly the same with my Autobot. So let's uh, back there and have a look. So you know when it is running the script it's uh, kind of hard to uh, move this. So I'm going to close this. You can see this arrow which means it's the alert happened. So when alert happen, we are going to get the execution on to our uh, Cortex account. So now I click on start. So when it is start, you know, anytime when the alert happen on my OTC's Cortex in MetaTrader 5, it's going to uh, execute the trade on my Cortex as well. So this is the OTC quote on the Cortex account. So I'm going to put this aside so that you can read both, you know, the you can compare the chart side by side between the uh, Cortex, my Cortex 
you know usd otc choice and also with the mt5 otc cortex chart right there so we can see that the charts are exactly the same it is the cortex uh, usd otc on my uh, metatrader 5 and right now we just wait for the error alert to happen so when it is uh, happen with the alert it's going to uh, execute the trade on my uh, quotex account right here actually this is the two hour long of video recording so i will not cut it i will keep it as a whole but the only thing i do is to make it shorter by fast forward the videos so that you can observe each alert that happened with the arrow on the chart and at the end of the trading session i was able to generate 210 dollars in profit and with the 63 percent accuracy and at the same time i also got you know four mac losses in a row so this is something you needed to prepare and learn about your capital make sure that you can reach up to four losses in a row otherwise your capital is going to run out first before you are able to win the money back so that's it for the video for the day how you can use the autobot to automate your trade from metatrader 4 or metatrader 5 and at the same time you can using the bbot plugin so that you can trade round the clock 24 hours 7 on the otc's market we call over the counter and that's it for now so now let's enjoy the rest of the video with the fast forward and the music and if you have any question just leave the comment down below i'll try my best to answer and if you wanted to try out just go to the autobot trading signal website and download the software and try it out for yourself for now bye bye Thank you.